What's up my friends, welcome back, you're watching how our video order stuff and today for you I'm checking out the brand new Revo Ring Black Mist filters from h and I want to find out more about what they are, how they work and whether they're any good. It's time for me to shut up and roll that intro. <laughs> As ever, links to everything mentioned in this video I've popped in the description box below, and of course this isn't sponsored content, so your support means a lot. If you can hit the notification bell next to your subscribe button, it just means the world to me, plus you won't miss a video. So I reviewed the original Revo Ring a few months ago and loved it. If you're not familiar with this product, it's a variable ND filter and polarizer in one, but it has a game-changing twist. Get it? in that it will actually attach to a variety of different filter thread size. You just twist it, attach, and it's on. And it essentially meant that it eliminates the need for step rings, which are super fiddly. If you use them, I imagine you have a similar relationship in that you probably don't like them. Anyway, I'll link my review below if you're interested. It's, uh, it's well worth it. It's a very in-depth review. Definitely check it out. And so here we are, HMY now have three different grades of black mist filter in Revo ring form that will just easily clip to the front of your lens. They come in three strengths or grades, one eighth, which will be more subtle, one quarter, which is a little more noticeable, and one half, which will be more pronounced. If you already own the ND version of the Revo ring, don't worry, you will be able to get magnetic versions of these black mist filters that like the lens cap that they do, just snaps on. How good is that? So here we go, I've just added the strongest grade, the one half grade version of the blackness filters. And in case you're unfamiliar with what blackness filters do, they're designed to sort of bloom your highlights. You might see my light here and the neon light. They're also designed to soften skin tones, flatten contrast, and sort of try and remove that digital edge. So now I swapped it to the one quarter grade and probably not quite so pronounced. Inevitably, with black mist filters, you will lose a fraction of a stop of light, but in my experience with using these ones, it's never more than around a third of a stop. So honestly, it's not really anything to worry about. Taking a close look, you can see that these black mist filters have dark speckles on the front element, which is what gives it this effect. And of course, the three filters have varying density. And now I've just chucked on the 1.8 version, so it should be probably the most subtle. So in terms of build quality, like the ND version of the Revo ring that I re reviewed previously, these are brilliantly made. They're made of completely aluminium and they're just solid. They are brilliantly engineered, but the only thing I find is that the mechanism that you use to attach it to your lens can be a little bit clunky and noisy, as you can hear, but I'm told these, this actually settles down and starts to sort of soften. Uh, over time and I have noticed that now that I've been using the ND version for I've had it for a good few months and I've used it a lot over that time So let me show you what these can do. So first we have our control test and this is without any kind of filter at all I really wanted to shoot something that was low light, but would still have lots of highlights So I went out into the city center of Bristol where I live and did just that And then when I added the most subtle grade of filter, which is the 1 8 it looked like this it's a very obvious difference. Straight away, you can see that the highlights have bloomed. The contrast is a little bit more flat. And to me, it actually looks slightly more saturated. Overall, I really like the effect this had on the image. Now stepping up to the one quarter grade, it looked like this. And honestly, out of the three of them, this is the one that surprised me because I thought there would be a bigger difference because after all, we've got double the amount of black mist compared to the last one. I still really like what it does, just a little bit more bloom on the highlights, maybe a touch more lift in the shadows. But then I tried the one half grade and wow, it looks like this and this one gives you a dramatic effect. Very soft and dreamy, very bloomed highlights. Just to illustrate how extreme it is, here you can see the middle section of the one half filter versus no filter. The differences in the highlights lights and all of the shadow areas is really obvious. So using this kind of filter definitely isn't suitable all the time, but there are definitely elements of the version with the filter that I prefer, such as the way that the building looks in the background and just the general sort of soft smoothness of the image. 
Anyway, next I check out skin tones. So here's the 1 8 filter, and it should be the most subtle. And here's the one in between, the 1 quarter grade. And here's the 1 half grade. Bloomin' lovely. And I'm yet to decide what I think of these. Yes, the one half filter is very extreme and I can't see myself using it that often just because it's so very dreamy looking. But I really like what the one eighth and one quarter filters do to skin tones. That softening effect is just lovely. And onto the pros and cons of these black mist filters. And firstly, I think these are brilliantly designed and produced. I can't fault them, they're just so convenient. I actually love the look that these give, particularly when it comes to the skin tones and in low light. Out of the three filters, I especially like the 1 8 filter. It's just lovely and subtle. I really consider these good value, considering how convenient they are, how highly designed they are, and the quality of the results. Yeah, I think they're good value. Let's not forget the magnetic front of the Revo ring design. The possibilities for things that you can add on the front are endless and I love this. Also remember, there are magnetic versions of these black mist filters. You don't need to buy them in Revo ring form if you want to use them with the ND version. Simple, get the magnetic versions, snap them on the front. And onto the cons and the most obvious thing being the noisy mechanism. However, as I mentioned, I've been told that it softens over time. For me, looking at the three filters, I found that there was less of a difference between the 1 8th and 1 quarter than I expected. And then going to the 1 half filter, I found the effect was very pronounced. And of course, the 1 half filter won't be to everyone's taste. And it is a matter of taste. It's not bad, it's not wrong, it's just a preference. So what do you think? It's a particular look that you do need to be quite intentional with. However, I really do like what it does to footage, particularly in low light and nighttime shooting. I also don't think it's something that's very easily replicated when you try and do it with effects. I find that with effects, they look a little bit cheesy and they rarely replicate the sort of the analog softness that you get with a black mist filter. From everything that I hear from my friends that are video guys, plus you guys in the comment section, black mist filters, it's a subject that's pretty polarizing. So guys seem to either love them or hate them, and if you're a Black Mist hater, I gotta wonder firstly why you click this video. <laughs> but then also um, how you got this far in. That's a thinker. Probably coming up with something clever to write in the comments of why you don't like them. Am I right? So I'm a really big fan of these Revo Ring products. Not having to think about step rings has been a revelation and I just love them. The magnetic fronts of these is just a fantastic idea as well. It opens up the possibility of having a whole world of other peripherals that you could put on the front of these filters. Think about it. Anyway, that's it for now. You can ask me questions about these filters in the comments section below if you want to. I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. I've got a large archive of videos about videography on this channel, of which YouTube has handpicked this video for you, and the one underneath is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.